What's up everybody, NFX here with a quick tutorial or AKA how I did that. And what I'll be talking about is the visual, uh, the video rather for uh, my song Bump This Brain Food. Uh, it was made within FL Studio and I wanted to just go through really quick how I did it because it's pretty simple. Um, the first thing you got to know about is the Z game editor and what that is it's built into FL studio and it allows you to make cool uh, visual effects uh, first of all before I even get started this is not going to be like some in-depth tutorial on the on the editor if you want to learn more about it I suggest you look up the YouTube tutorials um, look up uh, Stephen M look up the um, FL studio guru look up you know, Z game editor, FL studio, whatever. There's a lot of uh, better tutorials that will teach you more about what it's supposed to do. I'm just gonna show you how I did my thing. What I've done is I put one of the uh, Z game editors on the master channel, and then I added my first layer. And what, what you're seeing is the finished product, and I've disabled a bunch of layers so I could just talk about the process real quick. So the first thing I did was I had put a <clears throat> channel in called Linear. And uh, Linear is found under the Peak Effects section of the uh, drop down here. And a peak effect is essentially like what you might see in your um, compressor on, uh, as like an animated background with the frequencies shown back there. It's kind of like that. It could be bars, it could be um, a curves or whatever. Um, what I did is um, I set up one and I set my audio source to the guitar part in the song. And then I set the uh, hue and the saturation and, and whatnot to set the color and various other positional things about it. And uh, I'm just gonna show you what it looks like. It's gonna display down here in this window. So you can see it's just like a standard EQ looking output right frequency spectrum but what i did is i once i had one i liked and the kind of the style i liked i duplicated it and then i changed the colors and the audio inputs on them so now i have one for the for the guitar for the bass for one for drums another one for drums and one for something i call the bass accent um, okay so there you have that part. Obviously, it doesn't look quite like what my video looked like, but I will I will get to that. Uh, the next thing I did is I added this mix of dance, and you can see the little animated figure dancing down there. And there's various dances. You can the samba is right here, and then let's see. Some of these are pretty long um, animations too, like this one is just now tw twisting around uh, some hip hop style stuff this sort of thing and again you can set a bunch of parameters for these things okay I use this model in wire mode but the model itself does have a texture and I believe there's even ways of changing that but I don't know how to do that this particular uh, preset is listed under my special section and quite honestly I may have installed this off the internet somewhere. I don't remember. Um, it was just in my list one day and I and I used it. But I did go actively searching for uh, Z Game Editor stuff. So I downloaded a few that I found on the internet. Um, <clears throat> anyway, uh, I'm going to put this back to wire. Uh, oh, let me mention one thing. Uh, one thing that is very powerful in this uh, editor is that things can be automated so for example if I set the automation to walk in place and then I set the size maybe to the minimum what I can do is as this character is walking is I can slowly increase the size which will make the character maybe appear to be walking towards the camera right and then there's various other things the speed of the character etc but all these parameters can be automated and and i've actually done that and up here uh <clears throat> in my screen you can see some of the automation and i do actually make this this animation um, look as though it's walking towards the screen at, at some point okay but for my purposes i needed the wire animation uh to be there okay and then 
and then um, let me just play this stuff together you can get a feel for it Uh, so anyway, so there's that. Now, the thing that makes it all come together as far as the character looking thing is this last layer I have. And you can see it's already changed it. The preview here is a little too small for you to see, um, you know, what the characters are. But these are like characters you'd see on an old school style computer keyboard. Once I had it the way I wanted, um, all I did was click on export video and go through the motions to export the video. When you export the video, it'll make some notes for you down here. And it'll include uh, any credits that need to be given because the code that was used to make some of this stuff is, is rather complex. And someone took a lot of work to do it. And, you know, it's cool just to give them a little bit of credit you know maybe no one's going to understand what that means when you post it in your uh, youtube description or whatever but but you know it's it's the right thing to do and they're asking you to do it so i would ask you to respect that as well um but you export it and you set it to a file etc cetera, etc cetera, and voila then you upload it and you make a million dollars and so anyway, I'm going to play my section and you'll just see what it looks like. And that's really all there was to it. Um, I would encourage all of you just to go out here and, uh, and explore this thing and play with it. Um, I think you'll find that you can make cool little videos uh, you know most of my videos uh, aren't super duper involved I kind of just get a few effects going and then let it play through the song I don't normally have to put so much automation but you know it's fun to try it as well and uh, remember to look up YouTube videos so that you can uh, learn a little bit more how to really use this thing to its full potential and I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and if you guys have any other tutorials you want me to to make for you um, please give me ideas either in the comments below or if you'd like to you can go to reddit.com slash r slash warbeats and make a post there or whatever i mean it's all good just have fun making music and uh, keep it going thank you